This is Troy Lewis, lead pastor of Steamboat Christian Center, and this is Vision Moments, an inspirational video cast that provides vision, insights, and growth opportunities for you to stay resourced and connected to our vision to love God and to love people. Can't wait for you to hear today's episode. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Mathy. I lead a connect group and serve on the Steamboat Kids team. SCC's Vision Moments are an inspirational video cast that provides vision, insights, and growth opportunities for you to stay resourced and connected to SCC's staff and leadership and engaged in our vision to love God and love people. Today, I'd like to share with you about loving children well. I hope this encouragement applies to parents, grandparents, or anyone who influences the lives of children. Loving our kids well starts with loving God well. Psalm 127, 3 through 5 says, Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. I want to start there because it is essential to recognize that children are a blessing and a gift from God. Starting there, we can understand the preciousness and responsibility that comes along with raising or influencing children. In preparation for entering the promised land, the children of Israel are admonished with these words in Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 7. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road when you lie down, and when you get up. This beautiful passage ties together loving God with everything we have and teaching our children about God in a variety of ways. This is an area in my life where God has been growing me recently. I was about to enter that phase of life that parents of very young children often fantasize about when they are drowning in diapers and tantrums. It's that elusive day that exists in a galaxy far, far away where all of your children are at school together all day long. However, God completely changed my heart to embracing full-time homeschool. This spring, I discovered that I, in fact, loved being with my children all the time. I loved teaching them, and I loved learning with them. Now, you may be thinking, oh... She has those kids who sit very still and enjoy quiet crafts at a table. That couldn't be the farthest thing from the truth. My three extroverted children are loud, physically active, and often aggressive. When we embarked on this journey of being together all the time, I had my share of thoughts ranging from, okay, I got this, to when can I run away and hide in the woods? So what specifically are some of the things God has been showing me in this season? This is the part I'm excited to share with you. First, life is short and our time with our kids is even shorter. We only get 936 weeks from birth to age 18 with our kids. Spending more time with my children now, I have the opportunity to maximize many more of those hours. And more time means more opportunities to teach them about God, teach them his word, and talk about his ways, whatever we happen to be doing. I hope my kids see me as being annoying in the amount of times I reference an answer to prayer, a miracle we've experienced, or relate scripture to a conversation we are having. I used to be the kind of person who couldn't wait until... It usually pertained to my kids getting to the next stage, a little older, growing out of this or that. Not anymore. God is showing me, treasure this. Soak it up. This is the best right here, right now. There is no things will be better when. Life is a symphony, sometimes slow and peaceful, sometimes intense, fast and confusing. Then moments of rest. As Jesus states in John 16, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. 
the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful. He's with us through it all. So how do we love the children in our life well? It all starts with loving God well. I know I can only love people well when I'm loving God and asking for his help. When I'm in his word, where he's speaking to me and pointing out blind spots and receiving his peace and joy through worship and prayer. I make it a priority to get up before my kids and be with him and in his word first thing in the morning. I used to get so irritated if a child interrupted me with, I need cereal. Now, I see this as an opportunity to invite them into this time. I want my kids to both see and understand the importance in putting God first in my day and my utter dependence on him for everything. How powerful is that for our kids to see us spending time in God's presence, asking for his wisdom, patience, and thanking him for all he has provided for us. In closing, I want to share one more way to love children well. Embrace who they are. It is tempting to sometimes wish they were different or wish they were more like you. Believe me, I've done this. I think God sometimes displays his sense of humor when he gives us children that are so incredibly different from ourselves. He lovingly stretches us and pushes us out of our comfort zones. God is showing me that the things I might see as irritating or annoying are there for a reason, and he's going to use it. Instead of dwelling on what I think needs changing, I'm pondering, how is God going to use this for his glory? My fearfully and wonderfully made children are made in the image of God, and so are yours. He's given them a unique character and nature, and he has a good plan for their lives. Of course, there are times of correction where we get to be a part of steering them towards God and to what he's given them, to use what he's given them for his kingdom purposes. When I discipline with that perspective, I remind myself not to squash the strong will or the precocious personality. I choose to see the things that might frustrate me as purposefully planted by God that he will use in a mighty way. God, thank you for the gift of children. Thank you for all the ways that you refine us in the journey of parenting and caring for children in whatever ways we may do that. We love you and help us to love you even more each day with all of our heart, soul, and strength so we can love the kids in our lives well. In Jesus' name, amen.